Bonjour tout le monde, hello everyone, hope you all are well. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at dronies. No, not magic dronies, this is a different set of dronies. The dronies I'm talking about does not require to have a GPS lock or a visual track. These automated features can be accessed from where the flip used to be on your screen. It's the little round circle with the arrow next to the stop and record button. Before we get into the demos, I'd like to share a few safety tips. Number one, when using reveal, ensure that you have up to 100 meters of free space in front of your drone. Number two, when using epic, ensure that you have up to 100 meters behind your drone and 20 meters above your drone of free space. Number three, when using rise, ensure that there is nothing above your drone. I hope you have taken these notes down because they will be very important when you use these features. It will make a lot more sense if you see the video examples. The first demo is reveal. Please ensure that you have enough space in front of your drone before you tap reveal. You can select at the 30 meters or 60 meters. The camera will start facing down and tilt upwards as it reaches the end of its cycle. There is no altitude change, so be mindful of that. The next feature we're going to try out is Rise. Now what Rise does is the camera starts off with the camera facing down and the drone flies upwards and does a complete 360 while flying upwards. The measurements you see here, 30 meters and 60 meters, is your altitude. Once the rise cycle has completed, please don't forget to pilot your drone back down to the ground. The next feature we're going to try is EPIC. Position your drone in a safe space with nothing behind the drone and above the drone. You can select 30 meters or 60 meters. In this demo, I use 30 meters. The camera angle remains the same as the drone flies backwards and upwards. Please be careful because the drone flies at 4 meters per second while flying backwards. Once the drone has completed its mission, it will remain in that position and hover waiting your instructions. Please fly the drone back to you. The next feature we're going to try is the 360. Return your drone to a safe position and elevate the drone to a position where it can see the entire place. Sometimes it's difficult to pick a spot because you have buildings around you, you have trees, and all sorts of stuff that could obstruct the vision. And for me, well, it was really hard to pick a spot. Once you have reached an altitude that you are happy with and certain that there is nothing obstructing the view, you can open the menu and choose either rotate left or right in 360.
Once it has completed its 360 cycle, it'll stop and hover in that position. Please don't forget to bring your drone back down. Thank you for watching this video. If it has helped you, please give me a thumbs up. If it hasn't, give me a thumbs down. And feel free to write in the comments what you think and what you want me to try next. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.